Hey guys, so let's talk about triangles. The first thing you need to know about triangles is that the interior angles of a triangle will always add up to 180, no matter what. So A plus B plus C here will add up to 180. The exterior angles of a triangle will always add up to 360. So angles X, Y, and Z. An interior angle's matching exterior angle will always form a supplementary couple. So in this case, XA, BY, CZ, each of those pairs will add up to 180. The exterior angle will also always add up to the sum of the non-coupled interior angles. So X here will always equal B plus C. Y here will always add up to A and C, and Z will always add up to A and B. The reason that's the case is because you know that the interior angles add up to 180, so if you were to take A out of the equation, you'd be left with B and C. A and X form a supplementary couple, which means that they should add up to 180. So that's the reason why X will always add up to BC for Y, AC, and Z, AB. Another thing about triangles you need to know are that the angles and opposite sides will always correspond. So if you have three sides of a triangle, A, B, and C, with angles X, Y, and Z, X and B correspond, Y, C correspond, and Z, A correspond. And by that I mean, if X is the greatest angle out of X, Y, Z, that means that B will always be the longest side. If Y is the shortest, or the smallest angle, C will be the shortest side, and Z in that case would then be the middle, along with A. Another thing you need to know about triangles is that the sum of two sides always has to be greater than the third side. So if you were to have a triangle with sides A, B, and C, A plus C has to be greater than B. B plus C has to be greater than A, and so on and so forth. That's one way you can test whether or not three numbers you're given will form the sides of a triangle. Moving on to types of triangles. An equilateral triangle is a triangle with all equal sides, so A, 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 all the same length, and all equal angles. And in this case, since there are three angles and they have to add up to 180, they're each 60 degrees. Isosceles triangles are triangles with two sides that are of the same length. And because of that, the angles opposite those have to be the same as well. Right triangles have one right angle. So they're usually depicted like this, with the right angle symbol here in the corner. The side opposite the right angle is always called the hypotenuse. That would be this side right here. The other two sides, here and here, these are the legs. So right triangles are always associated with the Pythagorean theorem, which is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So if you were to look at a triangle, a right triangle, a and B would be the legs, and C is always the hypotenuse. So you can use this formula when you know the length of two sides of a triangle of a right triangle to find the third side. So when you have three numbers that work in the Pythagorean formula, you have a Pythagorean triple. And you can be pretty sure that when you have a Pythagorean triple that you have the sides of a right triangle. So common triples that you should probably know are 3, 4, 5, and 5, 12, and 13. A tip regarding Pythagorean triples is that when you multiply all three numbers of a triple by the same number, so let's say you have sides 3, 4, 5, and then you multiply them all by 2, getting 6, 8, and 10, that doesn't change the stat, their status as a triple. So you can multiply this set by whatever number, and as long as you multiply each number by the same number, you'll still have a triple. The same goes for 5, 12, and 13, and any other Pythagorean triples you may know about or find. So 30-60-90 triangles and 45-45-90 triangles are two special types of right triangles. 30-60-90 triangles just mean that one angle's 30, another angle's 60, and the other angle's a right angle. The sides opposite each of those angles will always be represented by a specific proportion. So the side opposite 30, the smallest side, will always be x, 
The side opposite 60 will always be represented by x root 3, and the hypotenuse will always be 2x. So if in this example x were to be 3, the side opposite 30 would be 3, the side opposite 60 would be 3 root 3, and the hypotenuse would be 6. For 45, 45, 90 degree triangles, we have one right angle, and the other angles would be 45 degrees, making this an isosceles triangle. The sides opposite each of these angles are in proportion to each other in the following way. The 45s will always be x, and the hypotenuse is always x root 2. So like with 30, 60, 90 triangles, if we were to make x 3, the legs would be 3, and the hypotenuse would be 3 root 2. All right, so that's it for this episode. Here's some questions if you want to go over some of the topics we just went through. And like always, feel free to leave questions and comments below. If you found it helpful, give the video a like and subscribe.